Hello everyone. So today we're going to continue our game uh, AI art uh, series. And uh, I thought for episode two, we could create some uh, jewelry. So uh, I'm in Photoshop right now and I have a, a chains brush. So I'm cheating a little bit. Um, let's have a, get a yellow color going, something like that. Like a chain, there we go. Maybe something more like this. Yeah, that's what I want. And then in the end, I want a huge uh, sapphire. Get a regular brush. So a small. Just get a bigger one. And maybe this is going to be inset into some gold. Let's leave it open. Something like that. Maybe something like that. Mm, we'll add some white in there. And maybe a little bit of shading. So yeah, let's try this out, see what happens. And uh, we'll save this. Save it as uh, pendant. Going to go into our uh, stable diffusion. Load up the pendant. And let's try golden pendant with huge Sparkling, glittering sapphire video game art in style of Diablo and World of Warcraft. All right. As in the previous episode, we're going to start at 50 steps. We're going to go with LMS. I'm going to go with four batches. There's four images. Uh, we can up the scale a little bit and we're going to lower the strength. Start out. Let's go. Yeah, we're starting to get some cool stuff. Um, I really like the what you have in the sapphire here. So let's try with this one. Uh, let's see sapphire. Let's change this sapphire set in ornamented gold. Maybe intricate ornamented gold. And uh, try again. I think this, the first one here is a great shape. This one has great glitter on it. We're going to go with this one. I like the shape of it. And I think we're actually going to change the, um, what you call the, the gold uh, chain here. So then go, go back into Photoshop. I'm not really happy with uh, what we start out with. So let's let's remove this. So let's see if we can find a photo of a necklace. Oh, this one's pretty good. I, I I was looking for a necklace, but this uh, sapphire is super nice. Take this one. Let me change the opacity so we can see what we're doing. Put that back in there. Back to 100%. Mask it out. I might just speed this up. Okay, so this is pretty sweet. We're going to save this one. Go with necklace. Apparently we're not doing a, a pendant anymore. Now it's a necklace, but that's fine. Here we go. Golden necklace. And we have the sapphire, cetrin, yeah, everything else should be able to fit the bill. So let's generate, see what we got. 
I think this is the only one I liked, actually. We lost some of the, um, the edges, but this is more, uh, this is more like in the style of, of gaming. So take that one. And up the string. Actually, we're going to lower the strength because I'm quite happy with it. The scale a bit. The sample. All right, I like this. Let's go with this. And then I'm thinking we're going to make a ring. Let's hide these and start making a ring. I'll make my favorite brush here, this Mr. Sketchy. It's actually Derek Sabrocki's uh, free painting um, paintbrushes. If you want to Google that and get them for yourself. So let's uh, get this golden color. Gonna make a huge ring this time. All right, so here we have a very crude looking ring. We're gonna save that. Name that ring, go back into Stable Diffusion, ring. And uh, we have the same uh, prompt as before. So we're just going to change the golden necklace to golden ring with glittering ruby. Let's generate, see what this gets us. Oh, that's a sweet looking ring. You can see it right now. Oh, I love that one. It's like a stone of Jordan, from what I can remember. It's been a while. Stay a while and listen and all that. A couple of one with diamonds as well. So let's see. I kind of like this one, especially because of the ornamental details, so the intricate details of the gold. Uh, this one's sweet. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. And there's some uh, stuff down there. Let's see if that is gone in the next iteration. No, I'm probably going to have to get that into Photoshop trying to generate some sort of stuff there. Oh, it's like a little Diablo logo almost. World of something. Yeah, it's a, since uh, we have some stuff here, it's looking for uh, similar images that, the, that uh, the model has learned from. And down here, it's always, uh, well, always, there's a lot of logos. And since we wrote that Diablo in World of Warcraft, it's trying to recreate that. Uh, anyway, let's copy this. Let's get it into here. And uh, just get that out of there. Ring two. Get that ring back in there. And I kind of like, let's try um, intricate golden ring. Lower the strength because I want to keep this. Let's generate, see what this gets us. These are some sweet looking rings. Yeah, I wonder what happened here. I like how you're getting some, some glitter or sparkliness inside the ring. They were pretty similar. I think we're going to try to clean this up a bit. So let's. Get this in there. Gonna mask that. Remove all this old stuff. And we can probably remove some of this blur as well, because we don't need that. We need to be pretty sharp. There we go. Not perfect. Can add some back in here. Move this part. And this will be ring number three. Get this back in here. And now we're going to try and get some details into this. So just uh, up those steps. Strength is low. Scale is high. Let's see. Yeah, these are some sweet looking rings. I like what's happening here. It's great. So, yeah, these are all great. 
I'm gonna go with this one, the first one. Yeah, I like this a lot. You have uh, great uh, engravings here in the gold. And the rubies um, was flawless. So I think we're done with this one. Let's try and send it to um, upscaling. There we go. That's super nice. I mean, there's some stuff here that you can clean up in Photoshop if you want to. But uh, apart from that, you have a extremely good set of jewelry here. All right, that's going to be it for this uh, episode. I hope you had fun and you learned something today. So if you like this, like and subscribe. And I'll continue this series of uh, making uh, game art assets. See you around.